Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Deborah, and welcome to my grow light experiment. This video is about comparing grow lights to see if they actually work and do you actually need them. I do have a part one to this video, the setup, the seeds I'm growing, a little bit more information about the lights and the heat mat and how I set it all up. I will put a link to up here and the description box below. But in a nutshell, I'm using a sun blaster light, a white light and some coloured LED lights. I've also got a control group. So we're on day eight, nearly day nine of our grow light experiment. The sun blaster side has the green labels, the coloured LED lights have the pink labels, and our control group has the black labels. So as you can see, the control group isn't doing a whole lot. There is the tiniest of seedlings right there. I think it might just be a tiny weed. On the coloured LED side, we've got a good amount of seedlings going in there, and very similar with the sun blaster side. The only seeds that haven't popped up on either side is the cayenne, None there either. And lettuce. No lettuce there either. So eight days in, I think we're looking pretty neck and neck. On the sun blaster side, there is maybe a few leggy seeds. And these ones are definitely trying to get towards the light when it's on. These ones aren't maybe quite as tall. I'm going to do a pump comparison. Yeah. Sun blaster side, I think they're just slightly taller. Day 12, I'm going to pop the lids and the lights off and I'm going to show you what's been happening. On both sides the seeds are growing really, really well. Lots of growth in there. So this is where the lights come to, so I'm starting to think the seedlings are a little bit too tall now. Because all the seedlings have popped up now, I'm going to remove the grow mat. I'm going to remove some of these Tupperware dishes just to lower everything down. I've removed the grow mat and I have lowered the seeds. This will give them a tiny bit more room to grow now. So yeah, the lights will be here now, so they're a good another couple of inches away. All the seedlings are looking really good though. I'd honestly say they're neck and neck. I'm really impressed. We've even got a few true leaves starting to come through and quite a few of these. Yeah, I can see that in there, in here. So, so far so good. On to the control group. Exciting news. We have our first seedling. It's an aubergine seedling. Jalapeno down here. I think this is just a wheat. And I think I might see just the start, one of the hot chilies, just in there. So it's taken 12 days for the control group to start sprouting seeds. So this begs the question, is it the heat lights or the grow mat that makes a difference? So maybe the heat mat does a lot more than I originally thought. I shall wait to see how the control group continues to grow. But so far, the difference between the grow lights, there really isn't much. So I'm really excited to see how this progresses. I've given everything a water, I shall pop lids back on, and we shall keep growing. We're now on day 18. So let's go ahead, take a closer look at what's been happening with these grow lights and these seedlings, and with the control group. I've gone ahead, rearranged the seedlings so they're all in order so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison. And then we're going to get on to the next stage of the plan. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these seedlings. Running left to right, we have cayenne, jalapeno, more jalapenos, hot chilies, red skin peppers, aubergine and lettuce. The ones with the pink markers are the coloured LED lights, the green markers are the sun blaster, and the black markers are the control group. From an overhead view, I think we can conclude that heat mat and lights definitely make a difference. The control group are starting to grow now, but very slowly. And all three groups, neither the cayenne or the lettuce is growing. The cayenne seeds were pretty old, and obviously lettuce just either grows slower or doesn't like the heat. Jalapenos. Got a few growing in here from the control group, very little, but they're coming along. In the sun blaster side, I mean the tiny bit leggy but not too bad, but we're starting to see third, fourth, even fifth leaves coming on now. The jalapenos with coloured lights are definitely a little bit more leggy. They're having a bit more trouble standing up, but they might just be a little bit bigger. On to the chilies and the peppers. Side by side, I'd say the LED lights and the sun blaster, really similar, really similar. And that's control group. Yeah, a few seedlings popping up, not great. And finally the aubergine, the coloured LED lights and the sun blaster lights, I would say are pretty much bang on the same. I really don't see a whole lot of difference between these. I mean, maybe in the sun blaster side, we've got a few better aubergine seedlings 
compared to the coloured side, but not by much. And the control group, really small compared. So, is it the heat map that makes a difference? Or the grow lights? New experiment for the future, I think. What I'm going to do now, I am going to repot the seedlings into colour coordinated pots, again so I don't get them mixed up. Although the control group isn't quite ready to be replanted, I want to try and do this all at the same time so they all have a fair chance and it's all very equal in the experiment. So, for the control group I've got these greyish pots, although looking at this light they look more like a mauve type colour, but never mind. They're supposedly grey. I'm going to try and pick the best seedlings for each tray to put into these pots. And I'll get back to you to show you how the setup is going to continue and the new configuration of grow lights. This is the jalapenos. Look at the roots on them. 18 days that's taken to grow from seed. Isn't that crazy? Everything's planted up. And side by side, it's really obvious. <laughs> the green and the pink are the ones that I used heat and light on. The greyish coloured pots with the black writing is a control with nothing. I've not used heat or light on these. I've taken the best seedlings from each group and repotted the ones with the lights and the heat. Neck and neck at this stage. The control group, meh. I'm now to pop these in the new setup and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome to new grow light experiment setup. For the sun blaster light, so I've put some hooks into the ceiling. Using some clear wire, I've just hooked that up. It came with these little attachments for the light, so I'm just putting them to good use. And that means as the plants grow, I can heighten the light. So hopefully they're only two or three inches away from the plants at any one time. This is how the seedlings look at the moment. Onto the coloured LED lights. I've just clipped them to my windowsill down here and positioned them. I don't know what's going to happen when these plants get a little bit taller, but I will see what happens when that happens. This is how the seedlings look in their new home. Hopefully they'll be happy. And sandwiched between the two lights is the control group. I've popped a few plants between them to stop any light interfering. So this is the control group and that's hopefully where they'll be happily living. And as for the rest of these seedlings, so I'm going to leave all the seedlings in this one propagator together now and just let them carry on growing. They won't have any more light but I will pop them in a windowsill just in case we have any failures and any of the seedlings die or anything happen to them. We're going to have a few backups. I've ended up popping the propagator <laughs> in the middle there and popping the control seed group on top. The grow light journey is to be continued. This is where the experiment really gets interesting for me. Because the heat map's been taken away, they've been potted up, they're in their separate areas. Now, in the coming weeks and months, we will see, do the plants grow faster? Do they grow healthier? And above all else, hopefully when they produce fruit or veg or produce, we will see if they taste any different. That's going to be the clincher. In conclusion, is it worth the money? Do you need grow lights and do you need a heat mat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So far, I've never had this kind of success with seedlings. The comparisons throughout the video, night and day. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. And you can follow my fun seedling journey and grow light experiments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yes, they do. <laughs> I think I'm going to go order some more grow lights so I can do another experiment. Ah, oh, what kind of fruit and veg will, or what kind of produce will they produce? <laughs> to be continued.